Father, we thank you. Receive all the glory. Receive all the honor. Receive all the praise. In Jesus' mighty name. Somebody will you put your hands together. And bless and take your seat in the presence of the Lord. Are you excited to be in the house of the Lord today? What a presence and what a glory. Hallelujah. Will you just turn to your neighbor and just bless them? Tell them it is great to serve the Lord with you. It is great to serve the Lord with you. Hallelujah. It is great to serve the Lord with you. Hallelujah. just imagining the things God will do with us. And with you, the Lord will make it happen. Together, God will fulfill his purpose. Why he brought us into this city for such a time as this. You might be a student in Bristol and you have found yourself here. Don't just sit on your talent and your ability. Whilst you are here, Make every time of your stay in Bristol count. Amen. I said to you, this is your father's house. Praise God. When things are not working well in your father's house, you can't sit there unconcerned. You, something in you should make you uncomfortable to make sure that it works well. Amen. And many of us have giftings, abilities, and please, we need that gift. It's not just for you. God gave you that gift for his body, the church, for the benefit of the church, the ecclesia. Praise God. Let's do that. Amen. How many of you are ready to receive the word of the Lord for today? Hallelujah. If you are ready, come with me to the book of Proverbs chapter number 21. The book of Proverbs chapter number 21. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter number 21, reading from the Amplified Version, verse number 30. Hallelujah. We will just do two verses from that and we will go on for the scriptures for today. But I want us to lock this scripture, especially verse number 31 for what we are about to learn today. Amen. The Bible says that there is no human wisdom or understanding or counsel that prevail against the Lord. What does that mean? There is no human wisdom, counseling, guidance that can stand against the wisdom of God. Amen. Amen. So when the Bible says that the wisdom of this earth, this present generation, are foolishness to the Lord. Because there is no wisdom. There is no counseling. There is no guidance that prevail. In other words, that surpasses that of God. Amen. So when the same proverb tells us to trust in the Lord and not lean on human wisdom, human understanding, human reasoning, and that he will direct our path, we cannot be led astray. Amen. Verse number 31, and I want you to lock this in your spirit. When I say lock a scripture in your spirit, it's going to be an anchor which faith we are going to run with. Amen. So don't lose grip of that. 
The Bible says the horse is prepared for the day of battle. Amen. A horse is what? And how many of us know that preparation takes time? You don't just pitch up at the battlefront. Amen. You don't just show up at the battlefront. You prepare, you strategize. You check your equipment, you check your power, you check your armed forces. Are they capable to go to the battle? You put contingency planning in place. So you don't just pitch up for battle. Bible says a horse is prepared. So preparation has taken place. It, time has gone into readiness for what you are about to encounter. But the fact that you prepare, the fact that you give time, the fact that you spend money, the fact that you put your resources into a thing does not give you success. How many of you have put effort and finances and resources into things that has gone, that has crashed, thank you, that has gone down. The fact that you prepare for the thing does not grant you success or victory. How many of us know that? We have a lot of students here. How many of you prepare to fail an exams? I mean, how many of you? But sometimes we trail on some papers. But that does not make you a failure. It is the exams or that paper that fail, but not you. Because the next time you took it, you pass. The next time you took it, you pass. Amen. So it is not you who fail. It is the paper at the time that fail. Because you have another opportunity to overcome that obstacle. Praise God. So the Bible said that a horse, and how many of us know that when you talk of battle, horse, how many, how many of you are into cars? Yeah. Good. When we talk of the power of the car, what is the word they use? Horsepower. Why? Because the horse is elegant animal with strength and power. So even in our modern days, when we're talking of a performance car, we look at the horsepower. The Bible says that a horse is prepared. So you do everything. They are put to training. They've tested on all obstacles. But the word says that, but deliverance, deliverance and victory does not come because you have the strongest horse. It does not come because you have the powerful battalion before you or ahead of you. But I said deliverance and victory belongs to who? To the Lord. <laughs> Beloved, deliverance and victory does not come from our readiness or how much effort we have put in place, but it is the Lord that showeth mercy. Receive mercy today. Receive mercy today. Miss mercy today to overcome. Mercy to walk in victory. Mercy to overcome obstacles. Mercy. He said, but victory belongs to the Lord. In other words, you can prepare and fail. The Bible says that the victory comes from the Lord. Why? It is the Lord that giveth victory. Now I want you to lock in yourself. The fact that victory comes from the Lord does not take away preparedness. Are you with me? It doesn't mean that you just sit there, what will be, will be. Then you'll be sleeping 24 hours, sin come and you start to call, appear, appear. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. 
But you will do what you need to do. If you need to prepare, you prepare. If you have to get up at dawn and study, you study. If you have to spend time at the library, you spend time at the library. If you have to hand in your assignment on time, you do that on time. And even as believers, we should do more. We should set a standard. Amen. So the fact that God Victory comes from the Lord. Deliverance comes from the Lord. Does not mean that we will sit there, what will be will be. So we won't do anything. Let's remove that from our mindset. Amen. So preparation is key. But we don't depend on our preparedness for victory. Are you with me today? It's key. So whilst we are still here, we will prepare. We will do what we need to do. So when the opportunity brings itself, at least our readiness makes us a candidate for victory. Then the mercy of God collide with us and the Lord grant us the victory. That is why you go for interview, you are taken, and the other one is not. You are both prepared. Sometimes they have even prepared more than you. But because of the mercy that is upon you, you get selected above your peers or than your colleagues. Somebody shout amen. amen. So in our year of victory, for the past three Sundays or four Sundays, we have talked about the first victory that is recorded in the Bible. Abraham, hallelujah, and the king, Kelodamaya. And when it was reported to Abraham that his nephew, Lord, was in trouble, he got men that he has trained out of his own house. Hallelujah. It was not that Abraham was so powerful, but God showed him mercy. That is why when you come back to the Genesis, let me... Read the scripture. Praise God. And blessed be God most high who has delivered deliverance, victory. Who has delivered your enemies into your hand. So Abraham, Genesis chapter number 14, if you're looking for the reference. 14 verse number 20. Um, Abraham prepared because the Bible said that he had is it 314 People trained in his house. Praise God. From the preceding scripture. Over 300 men out of his own house he had trained. That means that preparation had gone in. So when he went to battle, he did not go in as a novice. He did not go in as unprepared. Praise God. But God delivered his enemy. God showed mercy unto him and surrounded his enemies at his feet. So he empowered those who were too strong for him. Amen. So in our year of victory, we realize that, and I say by the principle of first mention, everything that happened first in scripture carries through to the end. Amen. So, so will our victory be. The battles that are too strong for us, it is God that goes ahead of us, shows us mercy, and delivered our enemies into our hands. That we become victorious. Oh, I'm speaking to victorious people. I'm talking to men and women who walk in victory. I'm talking to men and women who fear no defeat. For every battle that comes against them, the God of mercy the God that is, goes ahead and fights our battles and gives us victory. The same God goes ahead of you and deliver your enemies at your feet to give you victory. If you believe it, shout amen. amen. So the Bible says that even though preparation is key, but our strength, our success, our breakthrough and victory does not depend on how well we are prepared. There are things you have well prepared before, 
that did not go according to your expectation. And you can also flip back and see times that you didn't give much effort. You didn't give it your best shot, but that became your best experience. It is also true. Have you received something for today? Let's be outstanding. Hallelujah. Father, indeed, you have the final say. Our enemies are not God. Neither are our foes God. Father, every word spoken concerning your sons and daughters here, you will bring to glorious manifestation. Transform our lives. Let our lives be a billboard that it will be impossible for our enemies to ignore the goodness and the greatness of God in our lives. Let the compassion of Elohim come upon us that whatsoever that we do as a church, as individual, as a family, will come out of your compassion for humanity and for mankind in the mighty name of Jesus. Accept the sacrifice of our hands. Bless your people this week. This week, let your people encounter business ideas. Let those who have the ideas begin to take actions in the mighty name of Jesus. And let already established business see growth, increase, and expansion in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you praise. We give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.